All right, now I am not going to try to redline this thing. Um, I'm just going to show how it nicely it goes down the road at speed. I mean, it's a two-speed two power glider. There's no slippage in the trans, you know. All right, we're doing 70. And there's no shake in this car at 70. So that's pretty good. Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette. I have a really cool 1961 Corvette here today. I have been chasing this car for 10 years, at least. I've known it for at least 25. This car originally was bought right uh, across the border here, uh, Delaware, and a woman bought it new, and my friend bought it from her in 1978. And this car has a real 45,724 miles on it. And it's just a cool car. Now it's it's mostly original. A couple things were done on the interior. The dash pad was done and the seat cover inserts. The woman didn't like the style, so she had them redone. From what I understood from uh, from my customer, he said this, this lady was very, very particular in what she wanted. And you know, these are very elegant colors. Uh, the fawn uh, beige with the fawn interior. And it's a 230 horse with an automatic power glide. But most of the car is original. The paint is largely original, but it's been blown in on some of the upper surfaces. Uh, the chrome is mostly original. And he showed the car in CRS a little bit back in the day. In fact, he took it for survivor or I'm sorry, benchmark judging, and it, it did get the one star, but because of the changes in the interior and some of the other things, it would have never qualified for, for benchmark. Because uh, that is, that's a, it's a, it's a high bar to, to qualify for that. But it's just a really cool car. And, you know, I've got a price for what it is. Um, right now, prices are crazy. Uh, you know, they're all over the place, but, you know, I, I price cars for what they are and, and what they'll sell for. And we've been, uh, you know, getting quite a few cars like this in lately. And, you know, this is an entry level car, but this is also a car you can drive. Just jump in and drive. Um, I, I couldn't get the radio to work. Uh, the clock doesn't work, uh, but otherwise all the, all the gauges don't work. And, you know, just understanding what this car is. Uh, this was never a performance car. It's surely not a performance car now, so. Uh, this is a car that you're going to drive and drive, let's just be honest, you're going to drive it slow. If you have any intentions on doing anything other than that, uh, just, just turn off the video and keep going. Um, you know, this, this uh, it, it runs and drives fine, the engine doesn't smoke. It's a power glide, so, you know, it's not a, it's not a race car. But, uh, you know, th that all said, it, it really is a nice, pleasant little car to drive. It has a white convertible top and uh, it's just a nice, honest car. So, you know, I, I like the way it presents. Uh, you know, there's a couple little chips and rub throughs and some scuffs here and there, but generally speaking, uh, the car really looks, you know, it, it looks quite presentable this way. And just, just really cool colors. It's got a little bit of a musty smell to it, um, but that, that comes with the territory. But everything's there, the jack and spare and all that stuff is there. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's a cozy little driver. So, uh, you know, the brakes are a little hard on it. Um, they work fine, they don't leak. So with all that, let's take this thing out for a drive and I'll, I'll show you how it feels. Okay, so this, this thing starts and runs really nice. Uh, it just purrs like a little kitty. Now, the nice thing about the 230 horse is it's a nice low compression engine and it'll run on anything you put in it, just about. So even on today's modern garbage fuel, um, even, even with regular, this thing's gonna run and, and run just fine. So that's one plus to a low horsepower car. Uh, I get so many phone calls from clients who have 435s and stuff they're trying to drive. And um, they're saying, oh man, this thing just runs like crap. And, well, what gas are you running in it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, I just stuff what I got at the gas station. So it's not going to run on that. It's, a, it's ethanol in there, and you know you're going to get vapor lock. You're going to get all kinds of problems, and you know those are the problems you don't get 
with a uh, 230 horse. So that is one consideration. But this thing goes down the road nice. Now, my customer delivered this car to me. Um, they live about an hour away. And he drove it down. Actually, he didn't drive it down. His wife drove it down. And I was surprised they sold this car because she was telling me how much she loved it. And generally, when the wife loves a car, they don't get rid of it. But I'm not one to question why. I'm here to buy and sell cars. So when I get good merchandise, an opportunity for stuff like this, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna go asking a lot of unnecessary questions to talk somebody out of selling me something I want. But here we are, we're doing about 55. This thing drives really nice. And this is on old bias ply tires. So, but this is how they should feel. This car was just never beat up. It's fun to get compliments. Yeah, so this this mileage is legit here, guys. Um, watching the odometer rolling over. All right, now I am not going to try to redline this thing. Um, I'm just going to show how it nicely it goes down the road at speed. I mean, it's a two sh two speed power glider. There's no slippage in the trans, you know. All right, we're doing 70, and there's no shake in this car at 70, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's that, that's really nice. Um, now I know why I didn't change the tires. Eh? The thing feels good. There's not a reason in the world to do it. Uh, well, actually, there's a lot of reasons to do it, but um, if it if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So we just put a little bit of mileage on this thing, and uh, gauges are working. I can tell the tack is not working as it should. Uh, not super accurate. I don't know how much it really matters because again, if you're buying this thing to uh, do any type of performance driving, please do me and, and yourself a favor and look for something look for something else. Uh, this is not the car. This is a car for just nice trouble worry free cruising. Um, even though it's a nice original on hit body, um, you can get stone chips in this thing and it's just not gonna matter. I mean, it's, it's not what you wanna do, but it's gonna happen if you're driving it. And you're just not gonna get too worked up over it. So, I can't say what else has been uh, done in this interior. I would swear these door panels are original. Um, I'd have to guess the carpets were done. 
I, just just an assumption based on how nice they look. I just don't think they could be that old and not be faded. But um, that's that's my thoughts on it. But yeah, just a cool car and uh, you know great cruiser and great colors and you know there's little things you could do to this car as a hobbyist. Uh, you could do them yourself. And you know it's it's a fun little car to own. I would own this car. Um, just a well-behaved, nice driver. Okay, so if you have an interest in this one, uh, please let us know. And uh, just out of curiosity, I'd like to know what everybody thinks of this color combination. I love it. 60, 61 and two and and three in, in this well, 63 is a little bit um, a little bit darker of a uh, uh, tan color but even with that 63 interior it's it's, it's one of my favorites I, I i would argue it's the most elegant color combination on a corvette i really like it so anyway i'd like to know your thoughts on that so give us a call shoot us an email let us know uh, if you have an interest, and uh, we'll get you behind the wheel on this thing. Thanks for watching.